a medical student poses as a successful man. Who said people that catfish others online don't have lives of their own? Emily Slutsky was a pathological liar with an impressive resume. With a degree in nuclear science and engineering, biomedical engineering, and literature from MIT, and her MS from Columbia, you would never guess that she lived a double life online. Apparently, Emily was so invested in her schoolwork, though, that her social life fell behind. She wanted an escape online and a way to get to know other women, since she didn't befriend many during the years of her studies. So she stole images from someone online, a man named Ethan Schumann, and created an entire internet life revolving around his existence. Emily roped in more than 15 women into believing that Ethan was a talented, successful man. And she wasn't looking for money, sexual relations, or scams from these women. Oddly enough, she was looking for arguments. Emily enjoyed posing as Ethan to gain each other's trust and comfort, only to create arguments and gaslight these women. One woman named Gina helped to unravel it all. Gina was Harvard and Princeton educated, so she was one smart cookie. Ethan and Gina met on OkCupid and started an online relationship. Ethan always had an excuse or cancellation right before they were supposed to meet in person. Gina contacted some friends to help investigate this Ethan. A friend dug around the internet and linked Gina with other women that also had romantic relationships with Ethan at one time or another. The girls filtered through the stories, photos, and details shared by Ethan and found many consistencies and similarities in Ethan's lies, until one breadcrumb reveal led them to the entire trail. Ethan had shared stories about his college roommate, Emily, and that was their golden ticket. After sifting through the internet, the girls found the Emily, Emily Slutsky. Emily ran a clever operation, but not clever enough. Though details of the infamous college roommate, Emily, ultimately led people to linking her to this mysterious man, Ethan. Gina was able to track down Emily's parents online and gave them a call. She said they were old college friends, so Emily's parents willingly gave her Emily's number. And the number they gave Gina was the same one that numerous girls had all received text messages from. The girls confronted Emily, and she confessed that she had been pretending to be Ethan since high school. The photos were of an old high school classmate. Emily lost contact with these women, and via anonymous blogs has been said to be added again. There are more women online that have posted about a mysterious man named Ethan in their lives. 